Hi, I'm in New Zealand's fourth most popular city, Hamilton, and today we're going to be catching the train to Auckland. It's one of New Zealand's newest passenger services, called Tahuya. So come along and find out what it's like. In this video, we'll explore the train, check out the onboard food and drink options, and learn a bit more about some of the sites along the way. Hamilton is located on the banks of the longest river in New Zealand, the Waikato. We'll start our journey at Frankton Station, the first of two stations in Hamilton. It's about two kilometres from the city centre. We're in the suburb of Frankton, hence the station's name. The station is located at the junction of the North Island Main Trunk and East Coast Main Trunk Lines. Here's a freight train heading onto the East Coast Line, while we'll be heading north. A station first opened here in 1877, however the current building dates from 1975. The station is not staffed or open for the twice daily Tahuya. It only opens for the train that runs between Auckland and Wellington, the Northern Explorer. There's a mural of an old railway bridge here. And here's our train arriving into the platform, fresh from the depot. Loco 7295 will actually be on the rear of our train, as the train will depart back in the direction from which it came. The standard consist includes two standard passenger cars that each seat 50 people, an accessible cafe car which seats 20 people and has space for wheelchairs, and a generator car which includes 28 seats and space for bikes. In total, they're seating for 147 passengers. Extra carriages are added in school holidays and busy periods, with services running with up to six carriages. The locos are overhauled DF-class locos, originally built by General Motors Diesel of Canada. The DF-class were all rebuilt in the 1990s, with turbocharged engines. The locos which operate passenger trains have been fitted with a wheel slip control system and fire suppression system, making them a subclass, the DFB. Here's a DFB class loco operating on a regional service out of Wellington. Today's service is scheduled to take 2 hours and 40 minutes to cover a distance of about 140 kilometres. The Strand is a station in Auckland. Loco 7077 will lead today's service. The front carriage also features a driving cab, which Kiwi Rail is looking to start using subject to approval from the rail regulator. This will allow Tahuya to be operated with one loco. Now that the doors have been released, let's hop aboard. Seating is in a 2x2 two two arrangement, with some table seating. We'll walk through the train later. We depart on schedule. Coming to the Strand, Auckland, stopping at Rotokauri, Halili, Papakura and Boinui. If you wish to purchase a ticket for today's journey or purchase a B car or top your B cards up, please make your way to the cafe car located towards the front of the train. The cafe is open for food and drinks. If you wish to purchase any food or drinks, hot and cold, please make your way to the cafe car located towards the front of the train. Thank you. The recorded announcements are in both English and Maori. In the event of an emergency, please stay seated and follow the instructions of your train crew. For further information, please refer to the safety notices in the carriage. You can't pre-purchase tickets for this train. You buy them on board with cash or using a smart card. There's a Kiwi Rail freight depot here, where they also store the Tahuya carriages. The Tahuya carriages are British Rail Mark II carriages dating from the 1970s, but have been substantially rebuilt a couple of times since. Here's a British Rail Mark II coach for comparison. 
This train is named after an extinct bird, the Huya. The last confirmed sighting was in 1907. <laughs> Ten minutes after leaving Frankton, we arrive at our first stop, Rota Curry, a park and ride station in North Hamilton. Let's take a closer look at the route. Tahuya operates two return services from Hamilton to Auckland on weekdays and one on Saturdays. The service first ran in April 2021, although the service was suspended for a few months because of COVID lockdowns. A few minutes later, we're in the countryside. The Waikato River stretches 425 kilometres from Lake Taupo and includes the spectacular Huka Falls. There's free Wi-Fi on board with a 250 megabyte per passenger limit. The onboard cafe sells a range of hot and cold food and drinks, including alcohol. The staff let us know to expect speed restrictions, stops and delays because of works to upgrade the line that began the previous weekend. Tahuya has been funded on a trial until June 2024. The trial is funded through passenger fares, a subsidy from the New Zealand government and from local council rates. We follow State Highway 1, which runs the length of both main islands. We're now coming into Huntley, our first stop after leaving Hamilton. Huntley is named after a town in Scotland. Is Huntley? Huntley is home to one of the first schools in New Zealand to become a bilingual school in 1984, teaching in both Maori and English. Huntley Power Station is the largest thermal power station in New Zealand. It can burn both coal and gas. There are rail upgrade works underway here. There are both power sockets and USB charging points available. Let's go for a wander. Here's one of the three onboard toilets. There are a number of luggage stacks throughout the train for larger items, however unusually no overhead luggage racks. Here's the accessible toilet. In here, you'll find a baby change table, a retention toilet, and a basin with a soap dispenser and a hand dryer. Everything is clean and in good working order. I like these push button folding doors. There are both regular and recycling bins on board, which is great to see. These devices are for wheelchair boarding.
We'll come back to the cafe in a moment. There's an area for the train manager here. Seating is a mix of airline style seat or seating around a table. I haven't had lunch so let's grab something to eat. They have some specials in addition to the standard menu items. The cafe attendant is very friendly. He tells me that staff on this train also work on the Northern Explorer, which I'll be travelling on soon. You can pay by cash or with a card. Kiwis are known for making great pies. So I went for a creamy chicken pie. They've given me cutlery, but honestly, who eats a pie with cutlery? Let's dig in. Not bad. The rolling green hills remind me of Hobbiton, which was filmed about 45 minutes away from Hamilton. I find the diversity of scenery in New Zealand incredibly captivating. While I was at the cafe, I also grabbed a coffee. Thankfully, Kiwis appreciate good coffee as much as Australians. We pass quite a few housing developments. However, there are no railway stations nearby. We reach 90 kilometres per hour through this section. This is both a horse and motor racing circuit. We've just left the Waikato and entered the southernmost part of the Auckland region. The railway station is being upgraded and the line from here to Papakura is being electrified, allowing Southern Line trains to run an additional 19 kilometres. This replaces a diesel service that ran as a shuttle. Time to take a closer look at the seats, which feature retractable armrests. They have decent padding, a good headrest, reasonable legroom, and large sturdy tray tables. You'll also find USB ports between seats. We're now coming into our first stop in Auckland, Papakura. We arrive about 10 minutes ahead of schedule. This is a set down only stop as it's served by Auckland's electric train network. We're held here a short while. There's a suburban train. This is the current terminus of the Southern Line. I decide it's wine time. The next station is Purunui. Transfer here for 80 Southern and Eastern Line services and buses to Auckland Airport. <laughs> Kiwi Rail uses the level crossing lights you normally find on roads for pedestrian crossings. This is a lower alcohol rosé from Marlborough. Nice. On one side of us is a container freight yard, and the other is an EMU depot. We stop here briefly awaiting train control clearance. A 
A short time later we pull into Puhanui. A new rail bus interchange opened here in 2021, with an airport link bus operating every 10 minutes. As we're on the North Island Main Trunk Railway, you'll also see freight trains pass through here. This is a closer look at one of the wheelchair hoists. And here's one in use. From Otahuhu, there are two different routes into central Auckland, via the southern line or the eastern line. Tahuya uses the Eastern Line, which means we'll get some wonderful views of Hobson Bay. But first we'll travel past one of Kiwi Rail's container terminals. This is a tidal estuary within a volcanic crater. The train manager lets everyone know there's no toilets at the Strand station, so to use the onboard toilets if we need to. Although these carriages were originally built in the 1970s, Kiwi Rail has done an excellent job of overhauling them. The interiors are very modern and comfortable. On the opposite side of the train is another basin formed from a volcano crater which flows into this estuary. It transitions into Hobson Bay. The train runs on a causeway over the basin and there's a station near the centre of the bays. The next station is the Strand. Please note this is the final stop on this service. The Strand is located on the eastern edge of Auckland's CBD and is only used by two trains, Tahuya and the Northern Explorer, to Wellington. Suburban trains use an underground station closer to the CBD. So how much is the fare? I paid 15 New Zealand dollars to travel from Hamilton to Auckland's Strand station. However, if you have a regional public transport smart card, a B card, the fare is even cheaper. However, both of these fares are half the normal price. Since the pandemic, the New Zealand government has offered half price public transit as part of a cost reduction package. That scheme is scheduled to end on 31 March 2023, so the full price cash fare will be 30 New Zealand dollars. Either way, I think that's good value. Welcome to the Strand. This is the final station on this service. Please remember to take your belongings with you. Thank you for choosing Tehuya. We arrive about 10 minutes behind schedule. The train manager advises this is partly because of speed restrictions, including line speed reductions in anticipation of summer. The New Zealand government has been exploring options for a high speed service on this route and possibly electrifying the route in the interim. 
but high costs mean this is probably some time away. You order. Thank you. Travelling on Tehuya was a really enjoyable trip. It's a very comfortable train, really well modernised, comfortable seating and a good service. Enjoyable food, reasonably priced, so if you're ever in New Zealand on the North Island, I'd recommend giving it a go. There are stabling yards here for suburban trains. Tahuya will head back to Hamilton in about half an hour. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Hope to see you soon.